It is 3 in the morning on Christmas Day. My name is Thomas Jefferson. I have been wanting to come forth for such a long time. This is a very delightful woman that I'm speaking through. I am using her to be my voice. I am the founder and the writer of many things. My mind was intuitive, inspired by God. The Declaration which I wrote was inspired. I knew I had to give the people a strong foundation for what we were going through at that time. It was like a woven cloth with all the threads interwoven. That's what the Declaration of Independence is for. A tightly woven cloth that will hold strong against the wind and the rain and the beating down of the hot sun. I knew I had to write something that would last for all time, for all seasons. Something that people could draw upon and stand firm in. For you see, it's not so different today as it was in my time. The elements are still the same. But it's like a bush that has overgrown branches. And it looks dastardly. You need someone to walk to that bush and trim it. And sometimes that hurts the bush and it stunts the growth. But you need to trim this back quite a bit. You have two men <clears throat> that stand before you, the American people. One holds the Constitution in his hand, and the other holds nothing in his hand for you. Who will you choose? Actually, the people have chosen. In my day, politics was full of lies. catastrophes and strong minds not so much different than now in your days the only thing that is different now is the corporation of politics politics is a corporation 
that is deep seated. It is a money maker. So you think that these people are serving the people. They're not. It's a corporation. It's a money maker. They're there to make money off of you, through you, of you. Why you toil and strife, they rise to power, have a little bit of fame, and fill their pockets. And then when they walk away, their pockets still are fed with coins and gold. That is the difference. That is truly the difference. The man that's holding the Constitution is trying to derail these Basque autumn feeders It is dreadful. The American people. We had suffrage of American people in my day. They were the poor and the poor of the poor. My job was to give people strength, hope, understanding, Let them know that they have a voice. Let them know that they have freedom of speech. Let them know they have freedom of religion. And let them know they are America. They are of that fabric that is woven so strong. The man that stands before you that is holding the Constitution, who is currently your president at this day, you must follow him. <clears throat> he is um he is a mastermind. He is different than me, for I am of words, I am of How would you say it in your day? Consciousness? He is a master mind. Many people do not see that because you have been blanketed with lies. He has had lies spewed about him since the beginning of his presidency. If you would have let him work freely, you would see that he is a mastermind. He's like a fine-tuned clock. Because all the wheels have to go in motion a certain way for it to run pristine. And your Senate and Congress And your woman, Nancy Pelosi, Mm. in my day there was a saying, crazy like a fox, and that completes my statement about her. You have several that need to be replaced for they do not follow truth they do not even follow America I enjoyed being president for the things that I could accomplish at that time it's not a job 
I would ever want to do again. I love my home, Monticello. I love the inspiration it gave me. I love my family. My soul was full there. My heart was full there. It's what completed me. I was, it was a different day and a different time. I would do things different now. I love the freedoms of the people. Yes, I was raised having learned and groomed to have slaves as a part of our culture. I treated mine fairly and some unjust motions I made which I am not proud of now. I was not a contemptuous man. I felt I was fair. I did love my hidden wife, who was a slave. It was not acceptable then, but I did love her. She bore many of my children. She was lovely. She was so lovely and so giving, kind, and she inspired me. She inspired many of my writings in my latter days. I listened to her, and I gathered information from her, and I looked through her eyes, but I did not have the strength or the culture to make them free, which I regret at this time. I kept my status culture in check because I had to keep a certain reputation because I was a very important man. I knew of my importance that would carry on through time so I could not have a scandal so things had to be quiet and my wife my hidden wife kept the burden of that scandal and was not able to live the luxury which I wanted her to live but I gave her vast freedoms, much more than any slave had. You're, um, I do see the suffering of this virus that you have in this United States is quite a conundrum. It's dark. It comes from evil. Evil hands. Evil man hands. This is a constructive attack upon you. Mm, I see that now. The constructive attack on the world. Beware of what source this came from because there's more of it you must trust who you put into office if you put in the man with the constitution in his hand he he sees the power of these people he feels the power he knows of them 
and he's fighting with all his might to keep them at bay. You must wash your Congress, you must wash your Senate out. It's time for reconstruction. Things are not working for you now. Your president sees this. He must focus on this in his next four years of reconstructing the United States and how the power is given to certain individuals. Governors are failing you this is a fine corruption that I see before me. You must learn to take their power down. They must be accountable. And you must be able to go in and clean house when you see them fail in such a way that they are harming American people, harming your cities, causing people to leave. This is a catastrophe of the highest quo. You must understand that this is not acceptable by any means. This is not what America is about. How did this get so out of hand? You have had several terrible presidents. They have denied the people. They forged the corruption. And they brought in foreign powers. It is time for this president when he rises into office that the people support him all his moves because he sees more than you know there will be reconstruction of your Congress Parliament Senate As a puff of smoke, many will disappear, be removed from office. He will take a strong stand. He will have to strong arm your government. I am going to be the voice here for the people where this will take four years to wash this clean. You must open your eyes for when you vote for the next president that he will continue this forgement, this pruning back the bush because it will be for the benef betterment of your future, of your children's future, and their children's future. This is why the Declaration of Independence is so necessary and is so strong in its words. The words will never fail. The law that has abound from this declaration and the Constitution must hold strong. The edges of this tight woven cloth are frayed. They need to be re-sewn and fixed and managed. I do believe 
most of the American people have a heart for America. You have been infiltrated by many from outside countries that reside here, which is fine, but they don't have a heart for America. They are like leeches. They take and take and drain you. They care nothing for you. Most of them have a good heart, but there's too many of them to sustain the United States in the capacity it needs to be sustained. You must shut this down. And this is going to be hard. A hard choice for your president. Because this is one of the first things of the corruption of other presidencies that allowed this to happen and actually opened the door for it to happen. I see where prayer is going to be needed, basked upon, There is a giant in the United States. And he's stomping on the American people as he walks through the land. Someone needs to take that giant down. Once you get rid of that giant, and kill it. Freedom will reign again. If any hear these words, let your president know that we support him. We are here for him. We all have great intelligence, each president in its own way. Each is a man who is fallible, but forthright. At this time, this president needs to call upon the old presidents, the ones from the beginning of the United States. We need to start over. We need to begin again. The first thing is conquering the giant and killing it. The second thing is restructure. You have many smart men around you. Get a game plan, fortitude, the wise, the wisdom. Listen to the early presidents from George Washington to me. We will help you. We will guide you. We will give you inspiration of what needs to be done for it will be heavy and hard, but it needs to happen if you want this country to sustain itself, to live in freedom, to be a beautiful country as it always has been. If you let these other men rule and reign over this country, it will be more of what you are seeing 
with people of lowly means living in your streets, valling up the streets, You need to support law. We have law for a reason. We have police for a reason. If you evaporate both of those things, you will not want to live here anymore. For it will not be a place of growth. It will go into utter darkness and despair and corruption and evilness. And this is not America. Pray. Pray for the strength of the man that holds the Constitution. Pray that he will succeed in his endeavors of reigning for four more years so he may do the work he needs to do. And we will be there by his side. We will inspire him. And those around him that support him and we challenge you as the American people to stand up, use your voice, be heard in a peaceful way. Because of you, America is great. It never was not great. It just has a cloud over it now it's misguided many things are misinterpreted if you grab the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution bring them back into your life from the basics it's time to look back to the basics because they were sound and inspired by the God of this land. Because the God of this land knew there would be times like this. So they gave us the words and the laws for justice, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is what America is about. We wish you every president from the beginning of President George Washington, I being the third president. I relax now in the realms of heaven but I'm allowed to walk the halls of the White House or wherever the president needs me we surround him we touch him we whisper in his ear we inspire him for he needs us We understand the beginning of the United States and we put that into his mind, that basic understanding of why these things need to happen. You are making correct choices. Continue on. We ask the American people for well, those simple words, the pursuit of happiness. Even though you're amongst a fight, 
for your lives. This too shall pass. Do what needs to be done to survive. Do not rely on the government to help you in this survival. You must use your own mind, your own voice, your own speech in peace. Raise your voices. Raise your voices to your governors. Let them know your voice. Let them know your name. For this is the beginning. It's time for the people to bring America back. Let the government do what needs to be done. And you, the people, speak. For this is your land. From your hard work. And you make it beautiful. Merry Christmas. It truly has been a delight to speak. I've kept my words simple. For I do have a design of words, but I kept it simple. For this spirit that I'm working through, speak. She's a delight. She has a very delightful soul. She has a soul of service. She wants mankind to be successful and happy, as do I. And that is why she is here. She is here for you. If she can give one person the strength within themselves to be the best, the strongest that they can be and help humanity, then her day is done. And she allows us to speak. I have come to her several times and she has refused me, but now she's accepted with grace that I may speak to the Americans and speak of these words. Take them into your heart. Take them into your soul. The dark cloud will pass. It always does. But you need a mastermind and a man of strength and power to help America get back on its feet. You're being overtaken slowly and it's time for it to stop. I better say no more. Good day.